Hello everyone, good day, how you all doing? Welcome to the Academy of Digital Learning and Mastery, ADLM Studios. In this video, we will be discussing about how to measure for PyCard. Now, in the last session, we've been discussing how to measure for various items of work using the ADLM plugin. Now, with the ADLM plugin with Plan Swift, it will be easy for you to measure for PyCard with just less than 10 minutes. You see this video won't go more than 10 minutes and you see that how you measure for it. Now, if you check out other videos on how to measure for various items of work, example, block work, slab, reinforcement and others, you can click the link up above here on this icon above and you see how to measure all of these items of work. Now, for you to measure for PyCap, it's very, very easy now with this ADNM plugin. What you have to do is just get the plugin, install it in your system and you get so many new features in Plan Swift with various scripts that has been written by the team of ADLM to make Plan Swift easier for you to use. Okay, now with the plugin now, you can just come down to the template aspect of the plugin and let's pick for PyCap here. Now with PyCap, we'll measure for two types of PyCap here. We'll measure for regular sheet PyCap and irregular sheet PyCap. Those are the two kinds of PyCap we're measuring for today, which is going to be very easy and straightforward. Now for us to measure for the concrete in this kind of PyCap, this is the first PyCap here. Which is PyCap one, PyCap one. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel because it really helps me a lot to make more videos like this regularly. Now, for the first kind of PyCap, which is a regular ship PyCap, we're making use of the second PyCap tool here. So you just turn it on. Now, once you turn this on like this, you would see it will bring out the prompt. So you just ask for the length of the PyCap. You just input the length and the width of the PyCap here. Now for the length of the pie cap, that's 1.1 in meters. The width is 1.1 in meters because I'm using meters. That's the metric system in my country. Here. Now the thickness of the pie cap, that's 1.2. The number of the pie cap is just 54 pie caps of that type. You just click OK. Then boom. Just select it. And you have the volume of pie cap given here immediately. That's 78.4 cubic meters. And let's say for this next type of pie cap here. We have this pie cap, so you can just turn this on also. And once it gives you the prompt again, you just type in the dimension. That's 1.3 by 1.2 by 1.3 also rather, then by 1.4. Once you have that, that's just 26, 26 right here. Once you put the 26, just click OK and just click on this. Then you have the volume of pie cap here at 61.5. And that's for regular shape pie cap. Now, for a regular pie shape pie cap, I'm sure you will be wondering how to go about it. And if you're considering your blinding, right? Don't worry, that got you you've covered already. Now, let's pick a regular shape pie cap. That's the pie cap with this kind of funny shape. That's the trapezoidal shape pie cap. Now, this kind of pie cap, you all just have to do is just turn on the pie cap tool here. Once you turn this on, you just input the thickness of the pie cap, which is 1.2. Then the number of the pie cap is just two numbers. Then OK. So you have to do is just select the point of the pie cap here. As you can see how very easy and smooth this is. And with this, you've measured for your pie cap complete. And let's pick the next pie cap here. Let's say pipe cap 6. Hmm? This is pipe cap 6 here. Now, all you have to do is just do the same thing. Just turn it on here. Then just input the thickness, which is 1.4. The number of this pipe cap is just 8 numbers. Right? And check OK. Once you check OK, you can just pick the pipe cap. See how easy this is. It makes your work very, very easy and fast. Now, once you're done, stop. You have the volume of pie caps here in less than how many seconds? Now, I'm sure you'll be wondering about reinforcement and others, right? Okay. Now, let's check out what we've measured so far. Check a tick-off summary. You have your concrete in pie cap. You have your form work to the edges of pie cap. And you have the form work to the surface of pie cap. Now, for our blinding here. Hmm? Now let's go to the page that has this measurement. So right click, go to page. That's this page one here. Now what does the section say? So you have a blinding of 50 millimeter thick blinding, right? Now you just do is 
to click on blinding it will give you this picture here just put the 15 millimeters okay we have the volume of blinding same for the next one also you just have to do that for all your pie caps that you've measured out so far this is because we have varying types of blinding thickness so for this we have the thickness of 50 mm so 5 mm and 100 mm those are the three defaults we have here so okay and the last one is this that's for pie cap this year okay once you're done with this you have all of these features here for you now you've measured for all your concrete and formwork and blinded and let's come down to reinforcement right now for the first page here let's measure for the reinforcement in the spike cap here that's spike cap one it's very very easy like as easy as it can ever be now for this you have to turn on the reinforcement measuring tool that's this once you turn this on it's request for the numbers of bar so for this we have six bars let's measure for the 20 mm diameter bar that's bar mark 07 so we have six bars then we have numbers of pie cap here that's 54 then the diameter of the size that's the 60 then okay once you've done that here we have we could trace this see plus to have this cursor to make it easier to trace you do this you have this as your pie cap here so you pick from this point here down to this point huh? now you have another one that's this one also that's six of y16 right and this is this bar here also now once you're done you have this also hmm? so you pick that's for this that's your next y16 and we have another one y16 right here hmm? that's this curved bar so we can measure for the curved bar how neat and nice the curves are that's for that then for the next one here also which is this Now once you're done with that, I think that's the last one, right? Now once you're done with all of the Y16, you right click and then you stop. Hmm? And you have your total Y16 bars as 4.13 kg. Now for the next one, which is the Y20, all you just have to do is turn this on. Then you put the numbers of bars. That's Y20. We have six bars and we have 54 piles. Pike up. Then this size is 20 mm diameter power okay and once you've done that you can just pick from this point here down to this point hmm? now once you've done that you see for the next one here we have made an error we kept it, this as y60 so y20 right so what you do is very easy just click on this you change the item type once it gives you the prompt so we'll change this from 16 mm to 20 mm then change and voila there we have it we have this now as y20 and we have this next one also as y20 huh? so that is how you go about converting your measurement from y16 down to y20 hmm? so you have this as y20 this as y20 hope you understand so we changed that already so you make such errors you can just quickly change use the change tool to change what you've measured now you can come to our summary here you would see everything as measured out all the down here right it's just as easy as it is here. Yeah? It's very easy. 
now let's check uh, for um, our leaf space and as a round of this session for this complex kind of pie cap here also it's very easy also that's just done on the pie cap here on the thickness is also 1.2 and the number is just one okay so no matter how complex your pie cap is going to look like and all you can always measure it out immediately And we have that as 117 cubic meters. That's the volume of the pie cap. Now you can also measure for reinforcement bars also the same way. Just quickly come around here. The bar, this is 10. Let's just measure for one or two of them. This is 10 y 16. So that'll be 10. Number of pie cap, just one. Diameter is 16. And okay. So once you've done that, you can just pick this few by here. That's for this. Just doing for just one of them. And voila, we are done. So we have the volume of just this measure. So that's how you go about measuring out all of the reinforcement bars on your pie cap. Now, once you're done with that, see, I took you less than 10 minutes and we're done. And let's quickly let show you the summary of our measurement. Now you can see this right. Right here we have the form of the surfit of pipe cap. The total form of surfit of pipe cap is 757.43. The total form of the pipe cap, that's edges of pipe cap, is 796. The concrete in pipe cap also. Hmm? So we have measured out for all of this the blinding, the total of the blinding. The reinforcement total that's 1.56 tons and all. So for those of you that might be wondering that after your measurements, how do you get all of this summed up? And you have all of this summed up, which you can also export to Excel sheets. Once you export to Excel sheets, you can quickly do your little bit of arithmetic there. So that is how you go about doing your measurements with the plan switch software and the ADLM plugin for five cap measurement. It's how easy and fast it is. Okay, so that will be all for today. Wish you all a wonderful day and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and if you need this plugin you can always reach out to me via my dm in the link of the description below there you see how you get the plugin details have a wonderful day everyone